This is Ray with Follow My Lead Dog Training. Welcome to another episode of Ray Knows. So that's right, guys. I'm here, your dog trainer. You can find me on all social media outlets at Follow My Lead K9. So let's get right into it. So in this uh, episode of Ray Knows, I wanted to talk a little bit about the crate, and then I'm also going to give you some footage of a dog that I had come in. Um, for my board and train program and right away we started with the crate for this guy and you'll see why so no matter how you feel about the crate there's some things that you want to be doing and you should be using um, when you have a dog in the house so um, a lot of times on on you know even when we have a dog we want to get a dog we get a dog you know our lives are consumed with everything else and a lot of times, to be honest, we don't really have enough time um, for our dogs. That, not, that's, that's what happens a lot. Um, it's, just the, it's just the truth, guys. I, I don't know what else to tell you. It, it just happens. So what happens is a lot of times things like the crate take a back seat um, to, to training and getting our dogs comfortable with it and it becomes something that we just throw away, right? We're like, I'm not gonna use that anymore. My dog doesn't like that. And a lot of times because you're not making the time to help your dog like it and understand why you're using it. So in this clip, I'm gonna be showing you how I help a dog understand why they're gonna be using a crate and to get them comfortable with it. A lot of times dog owners are just um, using the crate when they're leaving, right? I just gotta go, gotta get to work, go in the crate, right? Ah, I gotta go, gotta get to gotta get to the grocery store, going in the crate, right? And the dog is never being shown how they should act in the crate and why they're going in the crate. Um, also dog dog owners, you know, tend to get tend to get wrapped up in a punishment for the crate. Right? So both of those two explanations that, that I explained are all um, things you don't want to be doing when it comes to your dog in the crate. So I'm going to show you a video of me walking through some things uh, with the dog, how I get the dog to understand what I want them to be doing when they um, go in the crate and how I get them comfortable. All right, guys, so take a look at this clip for this dog that came in, right? And then we're going to jump right into uh, us getting started with, with, with a training clip of how I um, do those first steps with the dog in crate. I know this will help you if you try it. Give it a whirl when you're not um, when you don't have your dog in the crate. Five ten minutes, guys, help your dog understand to get comfortable with the crate. All right, tune in for the video uh, clip, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Alright guys, so you just seen the clip um, of, of 12 in the crate. Uh, this is the same day we're going to be working him now in, in um, on his basic obedience and getting him comfortable and understanding what we want him to do in the crate. So you see there I'm using a little bit of food. Um, 12 has been equipped with a prong collar at this point and a 6 foot lead. So now we're just having him understand that he doesn't run out the door uh, when it's open, right? So we're teaching that as well. And what we're doing is walking up to the crate, giving a little bit of guidance, walking past the door, dog enters, a little bit of food as a, as a reward there, go back to the front. This is going to be normal. So just because the door is open doesn't mean the dog just runs out. Okay? So that's going to be helpful on your day-to-day -day stuff. One more time, in, walk past the door, a little bit of food as a reward. Good job. All four paws need to be in that crate uh, before the dog gets a reward. All right. On the way out the crate, I'm actually recalling the dog by um, his name and then come. Okay. We're doing it again. One more time. I'm going to stand in front of the door. Door opens does not mean you just run out. You have to wait for the human to call you out. So we're teaching. 
12 what we want okay now we're gonna run again a little bit of leash guidance boom give a little reward things are going good right now this is looking like a different dog from what you seen the first time I'm closing the door just to simulate what um, a day-to-day -day reaction will look like but also guys if you need to and your dog is trying to bolt out close that door. don't just let the dog run out use the door as a no method no you can't run out nope you can't run out so that's what I'm sim I'm showing you guys here with the door okay so you can use that um, as, as well as you you know using your leashes guys so we're gonna run it one more time we're calling the dog out all right give him some love right there boom and that's how you work it that's how you get your dog to understand what you want from him in the crate and how to get comfortable give your dog 10 or 15 minutes before you leave the house and let them get comfortable in the crate alright guys I'm signing off